Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now thank we all our God, with heart and hands and voices, who wondrous things has done, in whom his world rejoices, who from our mother's arms has blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love, and still is ours today. O oh, may this gracious God through all our life be near us, with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us. Preserve us in his grace, and guide us in distress, and free us from all sin, till heaven we possess. All praise and thanks to God, the Father now be given, the Son and Spirit blessed, who reigns in highest heaven. Eternal triune God, whom earth and heaven adore, for thus it was, is now, and shall be evermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praised be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth? From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from his misery he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes, yes, the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home, and gladdens her heart with children. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, Word of God, surrendering the brightness of your glory, you became man, so that we may be raised from the dust to share your very being. May there be innumerable children of the Church to offer homage to your name from the rising of the sun to its setting. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. I shall take into my hand the saving chalice and invoke the name of the Lord. I trusted, even when I said I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, precious in your sight is the death of the saints, but precious above all is the love with which Christ suffered to redeem us. In this life, we will fill up in our own flesh what is still lacking in the sufferings of Christ. Accept this as our sacrifice of praise, and we shall even now taste the joy of the new Jerusalem. I shall take into my hand the saving chalice and invoke the name of the Lord. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in, born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. 
Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord Jesus humbled himself, and God exalted him forever. A reading from Hebrews chapter 13. May the God of peace, who brought up from the dead the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, Jesus Christ our Lord, furnish you with all that is good, that you may do his will. Through Jesus may he carry out in you all that is pleasing to him. To Christ be glory forever. Amen. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. We praise the wisdom which wrought them all as we contemplate your works, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our hearts are filled with wonder as we contemplate your works, O Lord. The seed is the word of God. The sower is Christ. All who listen to his words will live forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The seed is the word of God. The sower is Christ. All who listen to his words will live forever. Christ had compassion on the hungry and performed a miracle of love for them. Mindful of this, let us pray. Show us your love, Lord. Lord, we recognize that all the favors we have received today come through your generosity. Do not let them return to you empty, but let them bear fruit. Light and salvation of all nations, protect the missionaries you have sent into the world. Enkindle in them the fire of your Spirit. Grant that man may shape the world in keeping with human dignity and respond generously to the needs of our time. Healer of body and spirit, comfort the sick and be present to the dying. In your mercy visit and refresh us. May the faithful of departed be numbered among the saints whose names are in the book of life. Let us again offer our praise to God and pray in the words of Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God, our Father, your light of truth guides us to the way of Christ. May all who follow him reject what is contrary to the gospel. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.